In the news tonight, Ministry of Health consultant succumbs days after being stabbed. And NDC chairman rubbishes claims of land sale. I think it's a deliberate ploy, owing to the fact that we would have highlighted who the real person was selling land, and this was um, a ministry rep. We would have submitted all the necessary evidence in, in the form of receipts to the ministries, both ministries. A Victorian man has succumbed to injuries days after he was stabbed by a fellow villager. There is Andrew Wilson, known as Punchy, a consultant at the Ministry of Health and a resident of 388 Middle Walk, Victoria East Coast, Demerara. That incident occurred at South Victoria on October 24th. According to a police report, on the day in question, there was an argument between the victim and the assailant regarding the victim calling the suspect a false name. This resulted in the suspect stabbing the victim with a knife. The suspect, who is a taxi driver, remains in custody pending more charges. Washi. Hi, people. Washing made so easy since I found Washi. Washi me use, wash me clothes, and I can say. Wash is so powder, wash clothes so nice. Wash is so powder, leave your clothes color bright. Wash is so powder, leave me clothes smelling nice, of course. So give thanks for wash is so powder for doing my laundry in right. Keep my clothes color bright. Have my clothes smelling nice for sure. I could not ask for more. Comes in lemon and original. It is a washing machine in a pack. Wash is to a powder, wash clothes are nice. Wash is to a powder, leave your clothes color bright. Wash is to a powder, have my clothes smelling nice, of course. Distributors located in the Starbrook market. From the army, I go to the police force, spend five years service. Then take a break and join Sheriff Security. And so far the experience has been good and I'm enjoying it. I like my work, very dedicated and determined. Very nice company, I have a lot of benefits. So I think Sheriff Security is one of the best so far for me, for my experience. Chairman of the Mock Arcadia, NDC Randolph Adams, is firing back at the Ministry of Housing and Water over a statement it issued that plots of land are being sold or allocated by operatives of the Mock Arcadia Neighborhood Democratic Council and opposition elements. The land in question is located at Arcadia South. Currently, persons are squatting on the land. The chairman did not take kindly to those accusations and said he provided the facts to the ministry and pointed out who the individual behind the land sale was. I think it's a deliberate ploy going to the fact that we would have highlighted who the real person was selling land and this was um, a ministry rep. We would have submitted all the necessary evidence in, in the form of receipts to the ministries, both ministries and uh, as I mentioned earlier, the chairman of the uh, region, but to no effect because instead of the putting out notice about the persons who we have evidence, who we support them, supported to them, that they're selling the land, they eventually put out a statement claiming that the, the NDC, an, op, an opposition um, operative, the word that was used, that is actually selling lands. And, and they have actually made this thing a political 
um, gimmick as far as I'm concerned. Because the same young lead, lady who is selling land, they brought her on um, DPI to show how she progressing in, in life. And, and, you know, to us, you understand me, or to me personally, I, I look at it as putting lipstick on a pig. You understand me? That's how I see it. Because this, all the evidence that we would have produced to them, nothing was mentioned about this, this, this young lady. And they are actually chastising the, the, um, the, the NDC of selling land. Adam said for the past four years, his NDC has tried to engage the Ministry of Housing regarding the lands, from squatting on occupancy and regarding the boundaries of the land. Adams further explained that the land is the property of the NDC and not Nissel. They also explain, although we would have given them a, um, a copy of um, the gazetted boundary demarcation, which the NDC has in its possession, but this was actually neglected. In a recent news article um, carried by um, Gordon Mosley, news source, um, the ministry would have highlighted that these lands belong to Nissel. Um, we don't have any confidence in Nissel because Nissel don't know anything about these lands. In a recent um, request made by Nissel, Nissel would have written us. I have all the documentation here. Nissel would have written us requesting that um, five lots belonging to Nissel um, and persons was living in it. We eventually gave the names to Nissel of those persons. They further requested um, documents. What document we have in our possession? Now, Nissel would have also sent us a transport. Um, transport number is four to one of of um and bear in mind this this is not regarding the land south of mocha but it's just to show you the competence and and the information that um Nissel has is contrary to what the reality is Nissel would have sent us a transport for those same land that they're claiming four to one of 1971 that they own the the uh, the school compound, the community center, and by extension, the lands north of that, that area. Now, when, when we went to our records, we would have realized all of um, Nissel information is actually wrong. Because while they have transport for, in 1971 for this area, these persons would have acquired transport um, in 99, Adam said the NDC has gazetted copies of the boundary for the land. He said what is troubling to the NDC is that surveying has started without notifying the NDC, which is mandatory. And taste you will never decline. Citrus, citrus, citrus. Extra lemon and lime. It's the two combined. Citrus, citrus. It's one of a kind. Citrus, citrus. Extra lemon and lime. Extra lemon and lime. Taste the citrus in every sip. With 70% ethyl alcohol, Mighty Foam Hand Sanitizer eliminates 99.99% .99 of all germs and even moisturizes in the process, leaving your skin clean and hydrated. Mighty Foam Hand Sanitizer. How do you stay clean? Two men wanted for murder and rape are in police custody. The two Jamie Ghani, 26, and Hansi Jones, 27, were captured on Saturday afternoon in the farming community of Kairuni along the Linden Highway. According to a statement issued by the communications unit of the Guyana Police Force, Ghani is wanted for the June 7, 2023 murder of GDF Lieutenant Rondell Douglas in North Ramveld. 
Douglas was killed and his car bearing registration number PZZ703 was stolen. The car was later recovered. Wanted bulletins were issued for Ghani and Joshua Paris called Stewie. Paris was arrested days after the murder. The second person captured is Hansi Jones, who is wanted for three counts of rape of a child. The man, according to the statement, was captured during an intelligence-led operation. Upon seeing the police, the two started to run, but Jones fell, resulting in his capture immediately, while Ghani was apprehended a short distance away. A 9mm pistol with serial number filed off and three live 9mm rounds of ammunition and one 9mm spent shell were found on Jones. He also had in his possession 179 grams of marijuana. The two are being held at the Mackenzie Police Station along with the items found as the investigation continues. For these and other stories, do visit us at our website www.rdproductiongy.com.